for the Trooper Black Foundation. Thomas Orca of Elliott, Maine. Congratulations and thank you for participating. Pretty good run.
into the race. six minutes. Thank you all for participating and supporting the first responder families in crisis and supporting the Trooper Black Foundation in our first annual 5K for first responders. Chris Malone of Sudbury, Massachusetts. Thank you, Chris, for participating today. Nicholas Cousins from Sanford, Maine, running with the Wells Police Department. And we're coming up to 27 minutes into the race. 27 minutes into the race.
guys, you guys get some water when you come by on the finish line, get some snacks as well. Lots of goodies to partake in. And we thank you for running today. And more runners making their way, making the turn into the driveway of the Center for Active Living here in New York. Brady Quinn of Salem, New Hampshire, running with the York Police Department. Joseph Bureau of Poland, Maine, with the Maine State Police crossing the finish line. Just under 28 minutes. of Kin Remain. Thank you, Melinda. All right. Just over 28 minutes. Nice job. All right, running with the colors. A pack of runners, including Candace Rankin of Westbrook, Maine. Thank you all for participating today. Here comes Randall Keaton of Farmington, Maine, running with the Maine State Police. Followed by Chad Arrowsmith from Sanford, Maine, running with the Wells Police Department. Ryan Curtin of Kittery, Maine, making his way to the finish line. And we're coming up to 30 minutes into the race. 30 minutes into the race. No way. Nice job. of Runford, Maine, making her way to the finish line. Just over 30 minutes into the race. All right, a pack of runners coming down the finish line, including Christy Libritz, running with the Maine State Police, and Lynn Samansky of Rollinsford. Thank you all for running and walking and participating and supporting the Trooper Black Foundation, the first annual 5K for first responders. Angela Avery of Wells. All right, Angela, thank you. Jenna Charles of York Beach with her favorite companion. Just over 31 minutes, there you go.
making her way down the finish line, Cynthia Travers of Elliott, Maine. Making their way down the driveway, right, including Ariel Alphys of Kittery, Maine, James Jones of York. Thank you, James. My favorite number, 77. Talia Mace of Kennebunk Court. Michael Salstrick of Wyndham, Maine from the Maine State Police and Kyle Pilsley from Runford, Maine. Daniel Dam of York, Maine crossing the finish line. Just over 34 minutes. Just over 34 minutes. Just over 35 minutes into the race. Just over 35 minutes into the race. from Falmouth, Maine, running with the Maine State Police, and Andy Haggerty from Falmouth, Maine, crossing the finish line. Just to let everybody know, there'll be another benefit for the Trooper Black Foundation on tour for four. It's a fundraising concert coming up on Sunday, November 19th in Portland at the Cross Insurance Arena. You can find out more by logging on on tour for the four.com. That's on tour for the four.com. Another fundraiser. Under 37 minutes from Berwick, Maine, Jeff Upton joining us crossing the finish line. Thank you, Jeff. I got it, thank you. Jay Wallace 
of Tepper Center, Vermont. Jeremy Olson of York, Maine. Casey Masterpiece, number 86, following down the finish line. Stephanie Marini of Alfred, Maine, running with the Wells Police Department. Bridget Pote of South Berwick, Maine. Thank you, Bridget. We appreciate your participation today in supporting the Trooper Black Foundation.
Harper Farley from Standish, Maine. Rushing the finish line just over 43 minutes. We're going to have the award ceremony here at the broadcast tent. So if you want to gather around the upper part of the driveway, we'll announce some of these award winners. And if you're here, you can pick up your award.